better daily. When we work hard in our minds, bodies, and our spirits to become 1% better every single day. Download the app and join our Betterment family at betterdaily.live to catch the video version of these podcasts. Here's your host and my dad, Alex Van Houten. What's up, Betterment family? This is Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live. Happy Friday. It is Flex Friday, and on Flex Friday, I go through an exercise thing to help you on your 1% better journey. You can call me coach because today we're going to be talking about your posture. If you're watching the video version of this, then you see that I'm in a different place than I usually am with regard to Flex Friday. Usually, I'm in the garage gym and we're going through something with weights or TRX or a squat rack or a mat or gravity or whatever we're going through. But right now I'm here in my living room and I've got an awesome kitchen chair right here so that I can walk you through something that I need you to fix. I need you to fix this. I need you to fix your posture. What's up, John? Thanks for joining me, man. I appreciate that. He says I rock. I don't know about that, but you rock, dude. So thanks for that. Now, Your posture is so important because it's very possible that right now you are watching or listening to this in a seated position. We spend a lot of time sitting nowadays and I'm not going to harp on that because you know you need to go get some activity, you know you need to exercise, and you know I've talked about that a whole bunch up until this point and even showed you a bunch of things with regard to exercise. But we are in our series, Don't Do That, and last time I talked to you guys about don't grip with just your your pointer finger, your middle finger, and your thumb when you're holding a weight or when you're gripping a, a doorknob or when you're opening something or, or picking up your groceries. I talked to you about squeezing through your pinky and what that does to activate your lats. And today, this postural conversation that we're having is applicable to both exercise and your daily sitting. So, you're sitting at your desk right now, I want you to do me a favor, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna shift my camera and, and show you something. I'm gonna shift my camera, here we go, so that you can see this chair. I'm, I'm seated in a chair and right now you can see, you know, my midsection, my, my hips, right, my shoulders. You're sitting in a chair and right now you're probably like this. This is how most people sit. Their shoulders are forward, right? Their hips are forward. They might even be pressing their back into their, their chair support. Let me, I'll grab a laptop and make it more realistic, right? doing this right here. Maybe you're on your phone, right? Maybe you have that in your your lap and you're just hanging out like this. And I'm gonna gonna tell you something that I need you to fix, okay? So what I need you to do is I need you to actively pull your chest up. Oh wow, do you see how my my spine straightened out? Right now it's hunched over, right? Then pull my chest up. I'm gonna activate my core. Who knows, somebody might just run through here and punch me in the gut, I don't know. But I want a nice active core, right? So my chest is up, my core is nice and active, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my shoulders back out of this hunched position, I'm gonna roll them back and squeeze my back behind me for just a second. I'm just gonna sit here for just a second. (sighs) Big deep breath. (sighs) Doesn't that feel good? Doesn't it feel good to sit up straight Shoulders back, core nice and engaged, everything's solid and strong. Okay, so I want you to come back to your hunch position. And in your hunch position, try to take a breath. (sighs) Do you see how shallow that is? How shallow that hunch position is? (sighs) And we'll come back to our our nice strong posture position. Take a nice deep breath. (sighs) Feel how deep that is? We're moving oxygen, man. We're getting, we're getting a lot of oxygen through the body. That's good stuff. Now, here's the thing. If you're a guy listening to this and you fix your posture like that and you just sit like that for about 10 seconds and you breathe nice and deep, did you know that in a clinical setting, they've actually shown that that increases your testosterone about 10 to 15% just to change your posture, just to, just to assume a more shoulders rolled back, chest up, core engaged, deep breathing posture can actually improve your testosterone measures via your bloodstream. (laughs) Crazy, huh? The other thing that it can do is it can actually switch your metabolic activity. So you actually end up burning a little bit more fat as a fuel source throughout the day than just carbohydrates. And I've actually seen this happen. I've seen, I've I've had the mask on people, we're measuring how much oxygen they're, they're breathing in versus carbon dioxide. 
in water they're breathing out. And, and what happens is, is they actually do shift more toward fat with the <sighs> nice deep breathing, more relaxed, but engaged posture, right? <laughs> John says, it's always about the tea, isn't it? Yeah, well, hey man, testosterone's no joke. We, we, wanna, we wanna bring our full self to every situation today, right? But, but this is important too, biomechanically speaking, okay? So if you are trying to improve your body via exercise, the last thing you wanna do is hurt yourself by sitting poorly all day long, right? So in this, in this hunched over position, right? What's happening is I'm actually, I'm shortening my abdominal complex, I'm lengthening my spine, right? And I'm putting about seven times more pressure on my lower back than I would when I'm standing up. That's a really big deal. So if we can sit with good posture, if we can be active in our core, if we can take good deep breaths, we can hang out nice and tall, right? What's gonna happen is we're actually gonna reduce our incidence of injury to our lower back. And that's really important. The last thing I'll give you here is when you're exercising. This is true too. If you're exercising in a seated position, let's say you're doing some, some shoulder presses in a seated position, then if you have poor posture throughout the day, it's much more likely that you're going to have poor posture when you lift. And, and you don't want to do shoulder presses in this position. It's really hard on your back. And I also see this. People aren't used to sitting up straight. And so they have a nice arched back, right? And if that's what you're doing in your workouts, Remember, don't do that. If that's what you're doing in your workouts, then you're actually setting yourself up for some, some serious issues, right? Because if you can lift like that without serious issues, you're probably not lifting heavy enough. And if you are lifting heavy enough for the gains and adaptation, then we need strong posture in the seated position. We need to activate the back. We need to pull the chest up. We need to keep our core engaged. If you're feeling lazy with your seated position, just stand up for a second. Squeeze that butt behind you. Take a few deep breaths. Roll those shoulders back. Really take up some space. And then have a seat in an engaged and active position. And that will make a big difference on your Flex Friday. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Flex Friday in Better Daily Live. I'm really looking forward to next week, starting with our Mindset Monday. We've got a good one for you. At least if nothing changes over the weekend, in which case we'll have a better one for you. Yeah, you see what I did there? <laughs> Until then, it's just 1%, guys. You got this. Thank you for joining us for your 1% Better today. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Leave us a raving review to tell others how Better Daily has helped you in your journey. If you want more Better Daily, download our app and join our Betterment family at betterdaily.live. Use code POD to get 25% off your subscription. That's P-O-D, all caps, to save 25% on your subscription. We all have a cross to carry. It's later when we do it together. Go to betterdaily.live today.